PDF of one of uh, that apparently Kent Hovind wrote a book or paid someone to write a book for him. But anyway, I've, he, we've uh-huh. got a book that, that says it was written by Dr. Kent Hovind. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be so valuable. <laughs> he, he wrote a book. I, I am so going to be able to use this. What's the name and of I it? I think it was well, actually what, I, uh, are okay. you being, fuck, I can't remember what it was. Are you being brainwashed? Ha, I, I don't know the, of his book, called. but have have you ever read his creationist notebook? That's obviously edition? an autobiography. <laughs> it's, it's called, it's from the, it's called the series. It's like a rival of the fittest. Have you ever seen his ninth edition creationist I, handbook? That's exactly the book I'm talking about. Yeah. Arrival of oh, the yeah, no, I, not, dude, not only do I know that book, I've gone through every single scientific claim in that book yeah. and shoved it up his ass. Um, it's, it's yeah. god awful beyond god awful stupid. It's it's in a the, realm the challenge of, to of him. reality that, yeah, it's so fucking dumb. He asks me questions that any high school kid should know, and of course I know what any high school kid should know, and I ask him questions he can't answer. So that's where the whole debate is going. No, so nobody's I, told him about I, Google. I, have I they challenge him? I don't just ask him questions say, for him to make up shit. I ask him questions demanding that he produce the documentation to show he's right. And he oh, can't I, I, do that's that. Too, that's too much. My, my favorite thing, Aaron, is when he said... Wait, I, fair, he I love when, when he said he pulled out of his ass. I love when you fair, ask him Arne. something. I love when you say something to him, and he has no idea what he's, you're talking about. So he'd be like, well, I, I, I understand this topic, but hey, Steve, why don't you go ahead and explain for the people listening? <laughs> well, uh, that's why he wouldn't. That's why he wouldn't do the 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 second live debate with you. By the way, when we talked, uh, uh, like remember about two months ago when I told you that I was talking with him about coming back on and doing the number two. Um, the, the last time I talked to him, he actually said, "You did a you know, number two the I, first I, time." I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. true. But but listen to this. He actually this is what he said. He goes, "Well, you know, our styles are just too different, and I'm just not going to do it." it like Arn is going to use all these big words that just confuse everybody, and it makes it sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm just not going to uh, engage with that anymore. So yeah, I'm just making it sound like he doesn't know what he's talking. Polysyllabic about. words. They're a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am right. so enjoying it. I am so enjoying it because somebody <laughs> somebody gave me a huge compliment today when they commented on my video. You know that OMG Aaron Ra might be the guy who actually shuts down Hoven's ministry. Please let me be that guy. I think you can. I mean, look, your your debate with him is is legendary. I mean, it's it's infamous. It's uh, um, and, and that's what, what you did. Do shout out. That's why I wanted to do a shout yeah. out when I when I mentioned uh, 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 Bill Ludlow and King Crocodile, but I didn't mention uh, a Heathen or or Logic, and I felt bad that I forgot these other people off the top of my head that I, I should have just, I, it would have been much, much better if I could have done a list of everybody that I know. Yep. L- logic to and, logic to him go way back, way back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so my logic, I apologize that I absentmindedly had, you know, I had that I had a senior moment and didn't remember to put in your name. But that's the discussion we've got to have logic and Kent. It's just, you know, I, I met logic and uh, I, 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 his, uh, his, his partner. Um, yes. I I'm, know I'm, I'm going to pronounce this. Isa Thor original or Isa. 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 Isa original. I knew I was going to say that wrong because I've never said it right. But I, I she's she can't say it right either. Have you ever heard her accent? She can't say it right. Correct. Correctly. Of course I've heard her accent. It's fucking adorable. But, no, but nobody, nobody cares when she says it because no matter what she says, it sounds good. Right. Because. She's she amazing. Like one of the coolest actors <laughs> yeah. ever. Yeah, I, I got to have dinner. I got to have dinner with both of them. And um oh my gosh, another senior mom. Don't you hate when you can't pull a name right away? And it was, I tell a story all the time. The, our second episode, I forgot Steve's name. I, we came on live on the air and I said, I'm Kyle Curtis, and he's, this is he's gonna hate me for not remembering his name. But it's just it's just it's so just now you can't happened. remember it or in, now you can't remember it because if you don't say the name, they'll never know who you're talking about. So they can't hate you. So yes, just, he will. You forgot it. He was the third person at the table. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> is this wait? Is this someone we know? Wait, is someone that we would we would know or the name yeah, we would I just, recognize? I, or? I feel so holy Kool Aid that I can't. No, 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 no. It, Thomas it's, it's Westbrook. Like, Matt Dillahunty. It's like, <laughs> 
I was giving a speech two days ago, and I went Greg to go mention this guy's name, Arnold and Tepper. he's a he's a celebrity in 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 uh, the realm of you know herpetology and and, and uh, general just general field biologist, and I couldn't remember his name. Mark O'Shea. It comes to me now, but when I'm standing in front of an audience, I couldn't remember the fucking name, and I love that guy, but I still couldn't remember his name. Happened to me with Steve. Well, of course, I don't love Steve, though. I hate Steve, but yeah, it's purely sexual, there. as you can tell. No <laughs> love there. Okay. Go, Steve. <laughs> Run with it. All right, go time. Uh, Fred, uh, five pounds. Uh, hello, Mr. R.A. Always a distinct pleasure to hear and see you. Much respect from Glastonbury in the U.K. You got fans all the way in the U.K. Yay! Yay. I will be back in the uh, U.K. Must, in May. He must be up late, dude. Because it's eight hours ahead of my time here. So, Dave Dallifer again, two dollars. Thank you, Dave. I didn't come from a rock. No spoiler alert. <laughs> Andrew Potella, ten pounds. I guess if evolution includes the Big Bang and the creation of the Earth, then psychology must include neurology, biology, evolution, abiogenesis, etc. Et I'm um, actually that the other day. I was like, look, everything you think scientists believe. It's just everything yeah, scientists just believe thing. about anything. It falls into the evolutionism category. It's weird that they do that, though. I don't. I, I never quite understood the reasoning. They think that that's apropos to do that. They take I mean, evolution has one that thing to describe it, on biodiversification. Faith. Yeah, they it's take bizarre. every belief that is not based on faith and classify it all as evolutionism, which they then classify as a faith-based belief. Yeah, it's, it it hate for part of my French, but it, that's fucking stupid. Um, yeah, I don't know why they would do it, that. It, it, it uh, would this, be fucking I, stupid if you hadn't already made more than a million dollars doing that kind of shit. Well, well, this dude, there's profit and dishonesty. You know, clearly there. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, look at, look at. If uh, I had ethics, I mean, how many times he got fucked? If I had if he, ethics, he's got busted how many times? Yeah, if I, I would have so much money, I would be living in such a much bigger house. I'd be, I could, if I didn't have, if I didn't have compassion for humanity, I could exploit other people. I could be doing human trafficking and everything. As a church leader, I could be doing all of that, just like a lot of the other church leaders are. Yeah, I think that's called Catholicism. <laughs> I didn't say that, people. I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> how are uh, there still, still Catholics? I, dude, I don't. How are they? How are there still Catholics? Dude, you, you see the pin tweet that I have on my Twitter line, right? I mean, that that pin tweet has more likes than any, well, almost as any tweet that I've ever had. And it's a question I ask all the time. That same thing, you know, because I think that that people are complicit. I got to but... tell you, I got to tell you, somebody in my own family, uh, I, I happened across a newspaper article in like 1990. So this is way before the, uh, the, 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 the priest pedophile thing was made public knowledge. I happened across this news article that, that, that there was a priest who was uh, being criminalized for all of the child sexual abuse that he had done in 1990. And the governor of Louisiana pardoned him because he was a man of the cloth. So that means that all of his pedophilia rapes are okay. And the the, the parents of this child were angry that the, the church had just forgiven the priest. So they went beyond the church to or beyond the that that uh, that division they went to the larger group they went to some bishop to complain to them to get the church to prosecute at a higher level and they still refused and the excuse that was given in the newspaper in 1990 the uh, was some bishop said that if the catholic church were to prosecute every pedophile priest the church would be in the litigation in the billions of dollars now I will never I have no doubt that whatsoever. Now. Yeah, now that was no before. That was the way before, many years before all of the rest of this shit broke as common knowledge. Yep. And I kept that newspaper clipping. And I remember somebody in my own family who is not Catholic, somebody in my family who is Mormon, who took that newspaper clipping and threw it away so that I wouldn't have reference to it because it defamed God. Mm-hmm. So they'll they'll stand well, and, up and, for know, other religions. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you, uh, it's, it's funny that you say that. We did a show on on the the Catholic Church and what with, with the uh, the grand jury report. And 
one of the things that really I I put out there to uh, or I wanted to make sure that we we talked about that day because it just stood out for me outside of the the child abuse, but the money thing. They the church said in a in a report one time that the amount of uh, dollars I believe it was the amount of funds they had spent on um, litigation like this had been like two billion. Like that's what the church put out. But in that grand jury report, they found out that it was actually six billion. So it was three times the amount that the church was letting everyone know they were spending. Um, so this, that's three times Dude, what they're the, the telling people. The fact that you're spending the word on. billion, just just a single right. billion, is just unimaginable. Right. Right. Yeah, and now let's, just, let's look at Australia's. They, they let's look at Australia's Cardinal Pell, for example. Oh. I, mean, I don't know if you've been to Australia. I mean, I George Pell, yes. Australia. Yeah, we know we, we heard a we heard an earful about Cardinal Pell. So it had been for years that like the, the entire populace knew what an underhanded criminal this guy was. But it still took another half a dozen years after that before anybody brought him to charges. And Darth Ratzinger <laughs> <laughs> in his Prada shoes, in his red Prada shoes. <laughs> Darth, you know the, the Pope that the only Pope that resigned and then had to be put into solitary confinement. He had to be, be put in seclusion for protection of his 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 the Nazi youth, who literal Nazi youth, who uh, who who is on record as having protected all of these pedophiles. The reason we have Pope Francis now, because Pope Benedict had to be taken out of commission. And locked away somewhere for his for his. But, own but don't good. you think Pope Benedict missed his calling? He would have made a killer killer uh, foil on, as an as an actor, like like literally, literally like the Darth. He he had that look like this guy is freaking Satan incarnate or something. Okay, it looks like a James here's, Bond villain. Here's every picture, every picture I've ever seen of Darth Ratzinger. I mean, uh, Pope Benedict. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that, that's that's his style. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he missed his evil. calling. Right, let's get through this thing. Yeah, so, uh, just, you know what? I think this is the longest show we've ever had. I think you, you might have this might be the record. You know, Steve, you really need to be more efficient at reading through these things. I know yeah. I'm a horrible, horrible super chatter reader. Okay, here we go. Uh, Andrew, or excuse, me, uh, excuse me, the Island Earth, five dollars. Just a fan saying hi and showing support. Thank you. I wish I got to watch more, but I've only afforded a couple minutes for break. Keep up the good work. You know, it might be a good thing you didn't watch this whole thing. But thank you for spending your break it. with us, though. Yes, yes. I mean, he's working and he says sends a break with us. That's awesome. Flint, uh, ten dollars or ten pounds. Aaron, do you remember the Baptist that was telling you that you could not prove two plus two equals four? He seems never to have read Bertrand Russell book on the very subject. What? Even the clever ones don't get it. Yeah, I don't, really. Somebody was telling what? you. You can prove two plus two equals There's four. It just takes thing. a lot to prove. You can do it. It's, it's, it, it. Believers are okay with not having any evidence of, of their position as long as you can never present evidence that it's wrong. So they will do whatever they can to, uh, to, to pretend that they know things because you don't know things. Mm. Mm. I get it. That's true. Knockdown wheel, five, five, uh, $5 uh, RN. When is your next classified classification of life video? I'm sorry. When what will it be? Oh, and please don't stop I, them. They're awesome. I, I won't stop them. I, I'm going to miss that series when it's done. And it is, it, it's nearing conclusion. We've only got a half a dozen videos of that series left. And when my mother, when, when my wife, when my wife suggested that I do that series, I'm embarrassed that I didn't realize what a good idea it was. And I, 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 it was like I'm three episodes into it before I realized this is the best thing I've ever done. I absolutely oh, they're love fantastic. that series. Thank you so much. Yeah, they'll be there. And they'll nobody, be in there in perpetuity. The funny thing about it, nobody's ever done a series like that ever. Between that it's and the foundational good. falsehoods, you've done an awesome job, Aaron. That's all I gotta say as oh, a yeah. producer of this show. It's Definitely proud. Awesome stuff. Yeah, uh, they're very and, concise. And, they're very. They're, People can go look at them for reference, and they're they're there. Like, boom! You want information on it? Uh, a friend go, of mine can go right to that particular thing. Mm-hmm. I've a friend of mine that's a teacher PBS. uses them. I've actually seen PBS doing a series that kind of mocks or kind of mimics mine, not mocks. But I have a good friend that's, that's a teacher. 
It's a teacher, Arn, who uses um, – I, I sent you that email that he sent me that uh, – he-